ladies. How are Hi. you? You're fabulous. We're good. We're fabulous. She's Anne fabulous. Sullivan. I'm good. I haven't met figures. <laughs> Anna Marie Sullivan and Patty Methvin are joining us with the Harrison Chamber of Commerce. And things going on in relationship to what? July 4th? 4th of July. It's right around the corner. You bet. And what are you planning? What? Go ahead. <laughs> well, it's, we have a whole day of activities, activities planned. And one thing we want to get clear is it is on the 4th of July. A lot of people okay. question if we're going to have it on Saturday or something like that. But it is on Monday, July 4th. Um, that morning, um, the, the day will kick off with the turtle races that First Federal sponsors. And I believe um, some will, uh -huh. will be here in just a moment to talk about that. Um, and then at 1130, just following the turtle races, will be the tricycle parade. And McDonald's sponsors that. And I know last year there were people out there with little wagons mm -hmm. all decorated. And Is there an age limit? Dan was wanting to be in it, and I told him <laughs> I, I thought maybe he was a bit old. No, I, I don't believe there's an age limit. I think he'll be just fine. Okay. So get you, go dig out your tr there's a okay. tricycle downstairs. There is one. Okay. And I've ridden that tricycle, by the way. I bet you just have. don't hurt anybody. Yourself or, yourself. or any child. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's it's not like a race car. where you want to like get out in front of all the little children sure that is. are all so cute. That's but you what have to I do like an outfit. I mean, come on, the outfit's the whole uh -huh. part of the tricycle race. Red, white, I mean, and blue is the yeah. theme. Okay. Yeah. And those I'll are be there. those are both free <laughs> events. Okay. And I know during the turtle race they give away free food, popcorn, that sort of thing. So now, who 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 does the turtle race? The turtle race is sponsored by First Federal Bank, mm -hmm. and the tricycle parade is sponsored by McDonald's. And the turtle race has been going on for what twenty oh. some twenty A some years, time? twenty four, twenty twenty eight years, twenty eight years. Yeah. And I know there's hundreds and hundreds of turtles down there, so that is always an interesting little event that goes on. And um, Ashley would tell us, hopefully she'll show up. She's a little tardy, but she is. Trivia. She is tardy. Yeah, if you call in and say you're going to be late, is that tardy? Yes. She, you knew. Yes. See, she, she, had a, 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 she had a conflict. She, and she so. has, uh, had a meeting or something. Yeah. That's fine. So, but it, it, it doesn't, doesn't keep me from, you know. Giving her a hard time? Yeah. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Thank you. And then after the tricycle parade, you'll have a long afternoon to have a cookout, go swimming, and then come back at 9 o'clock for the fireworks. Mm -hmm. And that's the event that the chamber actually sponsors. And it's a huge event. I know you guys are down there, and there are thousands of mm -hmm. people. You can't mm -hmm. move. So we mm -hmm. definitely suggest getting down there early. And there are people that, that come like three or four and Put hours ahead of time. Out. Oh, my gosh. In the morning. It's yeah. Back in the morning, there'll be chairs all around the levee. That's levy. amazing. And then they'll be moved. And, and it's, it's very they'll interesting. They'll be moved. Sometimes they, sometimes people move they those? get moved. Yeah. <gasps> people so. want, oh, if you're oh, not boy. there to man your chair, it may get moved. Yeah, so, what you're saying is people bring their chair and then they decide to go eat lunch or, and they okay. come back and their chair has been moved three it's, centimeters yeah. or whatever. I bet yeah. that's quite interesting. <laughs> So it's a, Where's it the is best very vantage point to see the fireworks? Everywhere? There's really a lot anywhere. of anywhere along the mm -hmm. the rim up there is good. We have or, people that sit on roofs and I mean you know, yeah, we used to sit on Hudson's roof. We could we can see them here from the from the studio. Mm -hmm. We can get up yeah. on the roof and Oh. Yeah. Harrison oh. Hills Harrison Hills always good. Yeah. I mean there's mm -hmm. a lot of places you can go and see them really well. I think okay. so. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Now who's who's doing it this year? We have Stellar Fireworks, and they are actually out of Wichita, Kansas. However, Chris Jamison, he's a local guy that lives mm -hmm. here in Harrison, he will actually be the one shooting them off for us. Okay. And he does the ones at C of O, and he also does the ones over at the Springdale Naturals mm -hmm. game. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay. he's done them here. So he's um, very experienced. Yes, and he's also done the ones um, for some of the Goblin games. Mm -hmm. So, okay. um, so he's a local guy, and we're excited to go with somebody local right. and spend our money here locally. So. Is this going to be synchronized with music too, like it usually is, or, or is it, or not? We, ha or? we hope you, so. Have they asked you to sing yet? No. Oh. <laughs> we hope so. We're trying to get that worked out. Patty's been trying to get that worked out. So, um, hopefully, okay. one of the radio stations will will be able to work that out, so they can tune in to a radio yeah. station and oh, I have yeah. music. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we talked about trying to get speakers and stuff, but there's no way to get enough music out right. to everybody. Yeah. So yeah. it'd have to be through a station. Okay. But, right. uh, Right. Chris has been doing this for quite a while. He's Chris Jameson. He's really good. And he's using a lot of local people also, hiring yeah. them to help shoot the fireworks. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's really nice to have it back to somebody local and get to kind of keep some of that money in the community because yeah. we spend a good little amount of money on this. Um, and, we're, and we're speaking of which, speaking of money. we're looking for sponsors. Uh, we do partner with the CVB, the Convention Visitors Bureau. But we do try to raise the funds um, mm -hmm. to help offset the cost. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in being a sponsor, just holler at us. Are, are there any that. sponsors left? Any any slots left? Yes. I mean, certain levels of sponsorship? We'll take anything. Anything? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have levels for this event like we do for Crowded Days. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, really, I mean, most of the money and donations we get for this event are $10, $25, $50. Mm -hmm. They're small increments. Mm -hmm. And 
So we'll take anything. I mean, anything helps. And we really appreciate that because, I do. mean, it's a, it's well, a big deal. Well, on the side, and where does so the cost important. come from if you don't get sponsors? Well, then the chamber absorbs the, okay. the balance. And that's not a good thing because you, <laughs> you guys are on a budget, too. Yeah, we're yeah, on a right. budget, yeah. and, and we, would, we would like right. to... Stay on budget. That's yeah, right. Sure, so, sure, yeah. Sure. so the cha yeah, we take the risk. I guess is what you right. would say. And uh, we've already paid for the fireworks, so we okay. we, we want to raise the money mm -hmm. to help offset that mm -hmm. cost. But mm -hmm. um, exactly, we're really excited. He sets them off on both sides of the bridge. So um, if you're you know downstream or upstream right. or whatever, mm -hmm. you can see them. There is also going to be the little cascading thing off right, the bridge. Right, I was going to ask about that. Now that that's something that sometimes you can't see if you're not pretty close. You know, it's kind of harder to uh, see. The bridge is, is blocked off. Is that right? During the fireworks. During the fireworks. About probably 30, 45 minutes before the fireworks, yeah. so they can set that thing out. Exactly. Yeah. And then uh, now the park will be closed all day long. Um, both sides of the bridge, but, so because they'll start about seven o'clock in the morning trying to set up these fireworks, mm -hmm. and they're okay. obviously mm -hmm. they're explosives. I mean, they're the traffic and, won't be traffic just, won't just be, the but you just area. can't get down in the okay. park. And we ask that people try not to be around mm -hmm. there, and 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 use a little common sense, and please don't shoot fireworks at the guys while they're trying to set up the big stuff because that could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. and, right. and also in the park, when this is all going on, you know, we, we'd like to really ask people not to shoot off fireworks when there's children right. around and stuff. Right. Safety's a, a big concern. So mm -hmm. anyway, we use all just kind of use our heads. We'll be, it'll right. be great and we can do it again next year. Exactly. So we're really excited and Chris is promising in a great show. He he does a really good job. I, I went to see the ones he did at CFO last year so we could kind of compare apples to apples. And he does a great job, and he's very concerned about it. He's a community person, so he yeah, wants good. to do us a good job, and it's yeah. going to be good. Well, I, I guess it's hard to get get these guys to come on the 4th of July because, I mean, there's so many communities that, that require he a special crews, person. He has crews because he's going to have another crew that will be in Springdale, so he's got to have different okay. crews. And that's why he's, again, hired some people from around mm -hmm. here. Um, my son, Cody, who's 22 today, um, is Happy one of that crew. <laughs> he's going to kill me. But anyway, you know, so he's got a bunch of guys from around here um, that will help him. And he does everything electronically. I mean, he does everything digitally. They'll, they'll key it all into a, a board of some mm -hmm, sort, yeah. and they'll push buttons. They'll have, they'll have lighters there in case if something happens and yep. it doesn't light. They'll wow. have people that will actually light. But um, it's now, the, the fire department, they're, they're not involved in act, the actual shooting off? That, not that, in the like shooting off, in no, the but they are wonderful to help us with the safety issue of mm -hmm. it and keep people out of the park, fire right. and police. We, uh, Mark Lowry and Pat Murphy have been wonderful. And, you know, safety is their biggest concern, and ours, and too. And has that been an issue of them setting off the fireworks and they've had to, had to go off on a fire? Is that last one, year, one of the reasons? Last year, I think last year yeah. there was a big fire, and, and that's a big time for yeah. them, they tell yeah. us, you right. know. Everybody's setting things well, on fire. Well, it's dry, and everybody's setting mm -hmm. off fireworks. But, but yet they tr they are they are they they have a dedicated officer down there that you know to try to keep everybody out of the park and keep it safe. So we really appreciate that. They've uh -huh. been great to help uh -huh. us. Okay. So, yeah. What else is going on with the chamber, girls? Well, we want to tell you that you can also come by the chamber to get your Joplin relief. We just didn't talk oh, to them okay. about that. So if you want get to order a T-shirt, you can call or yeah. come by the chamber because we'd love to help with that. So. That's a that's a thing we just and did. And while you're down there, there's other T-shirts you can buy too. There right? are there From are past events. days T-shirts yeah. and all, yeah, Those we got are lots awesome of T-shirts. T-shirts, mm -hmm. by the way. We do, and you know what? We've been meeting this week. She d She's designs just, them. I'm, can I take a nap? No, <laughs> no. This is the way it works in our office too. Um, but I was going to say, we, we met this week about Cooking on the Creek, and we met oh, this yeah. week about uh, the Balloon Festival. Mm -hmm. So we're getting geared up and ready to go. Anything you want to say about that, Anna Marie? Go ahead, Anna Marie. <laughs> Please elaborate. <laughs> the Balloon Festival is the weekend after Labor Day, just like it has been in years past, and it's a three-day event. And so we're looking forward to that. We'll be sending out information um, after the fireworks are over with um, about that event. And that's, that's my favorite event of the year um, that we host at the Chamber. It's just a cool event. What's your it's favorite unique. event? What is it now? The Arkansas Hot Air Balloon State Championship. That's your favorite event? That is my okay. favorite event. Oh, okay. It is. It's so unique to our area. Mm -hmm. um, and at most festivals, you are not allowed to get that close to a balloon, much less to get in it. So, um, so we're always excited now, you, to have You that both event. were in the balloon last year, weren't you? I didn't last year. The year before, I, I yeah. flew. Yeah. And they, oh, it's awesome. You, you know, it's a nice feeling when you're in the balloon, but even if you're uh, afraid of heights, that basket's so high up that you don't, mm -hmm. you pretty, feel pretty safe. It's right? so peaceful. Well, you know, if right? anybody needs a volunteer, you just, y'all need to tell them that um, Ann and Dan are. Well, if you will come down and work, then you can <coughs> work. You crew. Work. You can crew a balloon and then maybe, maybe. And you the problem is, she's yeah. not used to that. 
She's work. used to the sashaying in and doing her own thing and, and hey. get this for me, get that for me. And let me back up a minute. I, I, went, to, I went to, to school with Anne, and no. she was never tardy. She was never absent. She was an Thank excellent you. student, mm -hmm. as was I. Thank you. Correct, as was I. Yes, you were. Of I course was. you were. Times change. You were like totally opposite. <laughs> I'm, I'm a rebel. Dan's been a rebel and still is. Mm -hmm. hmm. And proud of it, okay? <laughs> okay. So, and, and the tricycle parade is put on by McDonald's, you said? Uh-huh. And uh, I guess Robin's heading, heading that up like mm -hmm. she always has. Yes. And yeah. then also after um, the fireworks is over, you can go down to the square and um, KHOZ will have their annual street dance. Yeah. And that's going to be a big got, deal this year. Yeah, we've and got Rob will tell you guys a little bit about that. that. So mm -hmm. that's good. Good. Something all, right. all day long. And lots of people have been sponsored. That's, that's, that's what the community is all about. That's what's got so neat is that there's all these different right. groups that are doing things to make the day good mm -hmm. and give you something to do. And if you'd right. like to support the chamber and, and not only the fireworks, but in other events that they have, they're always looking for sponsors, and you can give them a call down there, and you want to give us the number. It's been on the screen, but you can give the number. It's you seven, should know what it is. 7412659. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. Thank you, Appreciate it. Happy Thank birthday, you. Cody. Okay. <laughs> Who's next? I don't know. Let's, let's go. Well, Ashley's just, There's just Ashley. stepped in. Well, let's Ashley go with her Culver then. is up next to talk about the turtle races happening on July 4th. Stay with us.